while I was in Colorado, I came up with the best debate yet. Rewired Soul versus Nick Diorio. So there's a lot of story to this debate. So first of all, while this debate was happening, Rewired Soul was basically debating Nick over the I'm Alex situation, but he did no research for it. Meanwhile, Nick was like preparing for it for like four days straight. So Nick shows up into the call, Rewired Soul shows up, and Nick's just like, All right, so I assume you've seen my video on it. Let's start there. Rewired Soul's like, no, I didn't watch shit. So at that point, I was like worried. I was like, oh no, this debate is about to just be fucking pointless. But they actually went on and argued for like an hour straight. It was pretty entertaining. The problem is the entire debate, my internet kept, I, I'd lost internet connection like nine times. So they argued and I lose internet connection for like nine hours straight, but it ends up being a legendary show afterwards. Guess what happened immediately after the show? So immediately after the show, my mom calls me down, right? And they're trying, I, I've told the story a little bit, but I haven't told the full story. So they were going to like, they were like, we were basically, it was time to put our dog down basically, right? So we wanted to do it in like the most ethical way possible, obviously, right? Rather than, there was some like loophole basically where it's like they wanted to like, fucking send them to like a uh a kennel for the night and then like the next morning like you know fucking you know do it right basically we didn't want that to happen right so there was like a loophole basically where it's like as long as you have your dog like in a kennel in the house they can stay they can have like the last night in the home rather than in the institution and we wanted that for the dog right the problem is our dog broke our kennel that same night <laughs> How? He just like ripped it off with like his teeth. He was like just pissed or something. And he Jesus just broke Christ. it. So my mom calls me down and tells me the story. This is literally like within two seconds of me hitting stop stream. My mom's like, Augie. And keep in mind, my dad was on a work trip, right? And I think my sister was gone on a trip too. And obviously my brother was like, at this time he would have been, this was like three years ago. He would have been, well, I don't want to give his age, but like he was very young. So it's just well. basically me and my mom in the house. So she calls me down after I end my show and she explains the situation to me. And we're like trying to like come up with like an idea of like what to do because the, the, in, the, in Inspector is gonna come in like 20 minutes, right? Like this is like urgent. Like we need to figure out a plan uh, t t to sort of, uh, you know, not let him get taken uh, to the institution, right? So we decide to turn like the laundry room into like this sort of like kennel type. So we put the kennel in the laundry room, right? And we put the dog in the kennel or something like that, right? But we like we had to like autistically like set up like this, like we had to like hold the door shut or something like that and like use something to like keep the door shut so the dog couldn't like escape. Uh, but we also had to like make a situation that we could like prove to the inspector was like counted as like isolation or something like that. Cause the dog had to be like in, he couldn't run free basically, right? Like that couldn't happen. So we had to like set up some like autistic little like setup, right? So that, you know, they wouldn't just take him away at that moment. So we're doing all this shit. We're getting like fucking, the dog doesn't want to go into the kennel because he's just fucking hates life at that moment. He just is like, fuck you. So we had to like, get, like set up like, <laughs> we like had to like bait him in there with like fucking peanut butter or some shit. We had to like, be like, yo, yo, <laughs> like, please, homie. Just go in the kennel, all right? We're trying to help you out here. You don't even realize this, right? But we're trying to like make your last night not nearly as miserable as it could be and stuff like that, right? So we're doing all this stuff. We're, we're like sad as fuck, but we're also kind of like laughing during all of this is happening and stuff like that. And somehow we got this autistic, I forget what we did, but we got it to work basically. So the inspector came, he looked at our setup or something. He was like, sure, whatever, fuck it. Okay, we'll just, come in the morning or something and just do it then or something like that and we were like oh my god thank god we had to like set this up in like two minutes or something i just remember after we after he left obviously like let the dog out right and we were just like jesus christ that was so fucking funny so that was the last time i saw my dog after that night so rip rip the homie but uh he's in a better place now